Good morning, all my YouTube friends. Uh, today I wanted to come to you with some flip throughs of some coloring books that I received from Elena Lazareva. Um, I have uh, these two and another one and then two more. So I'm going to do these, these two in one video and then I'm going to split them up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the, she has the fairies and I'm going to try to hold it up where the glare is not too, too bad. Um, in the fairies line, she has the grayscale and the line art. And I'm going to do a flip through of both of them because they're a little bit different. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the book. Um, the grayscale book um, has 200 and well, the, no, the grayscale book has um, 123 pages total. You get two full sets of hand drawn illustrations, 25 of them, and plus you get seven bonus pictures of uh, works out of uh, her, some of her other books and they are absolutely beautiful. Um, this one is the new 2019 edition and um, I wanted to show you because they are beautiful. Um, the book is eight and a half by 11. They are one-sided, they're not perforated and she recommends uh, soft pencils and pastels in her books but I've used um, acrylic paints let me see if I can zoom this in just a little bit more um, to get you a closer look at her illustrations. There we go. That ought to be perfect. Um, she does have a Facebook group that you can um, share, go in and share your works and get inspiration for other um, from other colorists and tips and tricks and um you know just ideas to work in your books i've used acrylic glitter paints and i'm going to show an illust i'm going to show you uh, what i did with that one but these pictures are absolutely beautiful and the possibilities are endless i mean you can use stickles in here you can use uh like I did, you can use glitter paints, you can use makeup, um, you can use, I've used, uh, she doesn't re recommend the wet media, but I have used um, uh, watercolor, not watercolors, but ink tents, pencils, and um, as long as you limit the water that you use, you should be fine. The pages are on is create space paper, and um, let's see how many times I say um. The pages are absolutely beautiful, and these are all hand drawn. And I will um, post. Um, I will link a copy of all of her. Um, social media uh, accounts that you can go and find Elena's works have been published in magazines and books in different countries she is um, well known in England Australia Italy Russia and she mainly focuses on fantasy art, mystical beings, fairies, and mermaids, as you can tell in the pictures. They're, they Each picture is very unique to her style. and But you can see a picture and know that it was drawn by her. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at his big old beady eyes. It's so cute. It's just beautiful. I mean, you can use stickles on here. You can use um,
the possi like I said, the possibilities are endless. You can use your imagination and just go wild with these books. And these are the seven bonus page pictures um, from her different works. This one is from Victorian coloring books. And that one is absolutely beautiful. Um, I will be doing a flip through of that one also in a, in a separate video. Um, this is a line artworks from Enchanted Forest coloring book. And it is absolutely beautiful. This is a grayscale from Magic Autumn. And a line art from the book Christmas Surprise. And this one would have been good for the hashtag um, festival colorings color thon that we just did. This one is by it's it's in Sweet Dreams. This one is in Unicorns, the Grayscale book in Unicorns, and this book is absolutely beautiful. I do not have it, but I did see a flip on. And it's absolutely beautiful. This one is from Mermaids. I love all of her work. And then the second set of pages begin here. It's just a, um, just duplicates of the, fir the first pages that I showed you. And you can color them in different, different ways, different styles, using different mediums. She gives you that option. All of the pictures are also uh, located on the back of the book, uh, which is hard to see with the glare, but they are um, all on the back of the book. And then we have her fairies line art, and I'm trying to not make too much glare. Um, her line art book, and her line art book um, has, uh, let's see, it has 62 pages total. And um, there's 25 hand-drawn line art illustrations plus five bonus grayscale um, illustrations. So if you're not sure if you're going to like the grayscale illustrations, you can get this book and you can practice with the grayscales in this book to see if you would want to get any of her other grayscale books, which I highly recommend because they are totally awesome. Um, they like I said I like all of her her work is just absolutely beautiful um so we're gonna start the flip through of this one and it's um it's pretty much just like the other one except that it's it's all in line art there's no grayscale so if you're not a fan of grayscale um this book would be for you it's it's pretty much the same as the rest of her um of the first book that I showed you the pages are eight and a half by eleven and there's no it's not perforated but you can take an exacto blade or a knife or anything um, to cut the pages out if you wanted to cut them out and f these pages are frame worthy after they're um, colored because they are so beautiful I have seen some um, some of the colorings on this on these books and they are absolutely stunning elena does have a facebook group if you um which i think i've already mentioned which is um a great place to go get ideas because like i said some of the pictures that she has done the wonderful colorists that we have on Facebook has just the detail in the work that she does is just fantastic. It's just phenomenal. There's so many great coloring books out there right now. The expressions on her face, I mean, she just nailed it. This is one of my favorites. At first I couldn't figure out if this was a giant cat or uh, just a little bitty woman, but this is a fairy against a regular sized cat. Unless it 
there's a such thing as giant cat. Well, I, there is a such thing as giant cats, but talking tree. And she puts animals in her portrait, in her illustrations, which I absolutely love. I love anything to do with mushrooms. I'll go a little bit quicker with this one because, like I said, they all, the images are pretty much the same. They are, but they're not. Each one is different in its own way. I love this one. This one is one of my favorites. She does have a funny animal one. It is, I, I'm, that's going to definitely be my next purchase. Because it is, I love it. In the grayscale, especially. I'm just starting to um, branch out into the grayscale world. I was so intimidated by it for so long. And um, I did one picture and I was ho completely hooked. So um, this is one of her bonus pages. Um, the coloring book is Fashion Grayscale. And that is beautiful. This is going to be so pretty after it's colored. Beautiful. And this one is by Fairies, which is the Grayscale book. Her other Fairies Grayscale. This is one of the images out of the Funny Animals Grayscale book. Well, how cute is that? I mean, how cute is that? And they are all just as adorable. When you want to just color something fun, this is one from her Halloween Grayscale book, which is also beautiful. This is from Fantasy Kingdom. And that is it. I'm going to create space paper. And they do have images of her illustrations on the back of her book. Um, so if you have not checked out um, Elena's work yet, I would suggest that you do. I would recommend her books um, to anyone. If I had any downfall with these books, it would be the paper. I just wish they were um, printed on better paper, but the illustrations are beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong. If you like coloring like portraiture and, and just fantasy, these are the books for you. So um, I'm going to link her, um, like I said, social media accounts in the description down below. And I'm going to put them somewhere on the screen around here somewhere. And you can go check out her work. I hope you have a beautiful day. And don't forget to smile because smiles are contagious. If you smile at someone, they will smile back at you. Love, hugs, and kisses. Until next time. Bye. If you have PS, if you have not subscribed or um, to my channel, please do uh, and give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it because it does help um, more than you know. So again, goodbye, y'all. All know I have trouble with goodbyes. So talk to y'all later. Bye.